Hello and welcome to my humble home. I am the processor and I am in charge of things over here. I could show you around a bit. This here is my workstation and I do most of my stuff over here. This here is the cache where I keep data ready for quick access. Over there is the RAM or as I call it the archive because I think it's pretty slow actually. Corner there is the memory management unit but he doesn't like the camera so you won't be seeing him today. And this here is where I hang out with the processes. The processes are kind of like applications and usually they ask me for some favors. Usually it's pretty nice here, although sometimes a bit busy. But a few days ago something quite horrible was found out. Let's have a look. Hello Kenny, how are you? Long time, yeah. Hey, you know, I'm running out of gas, can you help me? I need a couple of pin codes, yeah, from the couple of rich guys. Okay, that's nice. I heard about that some Intel processors have some kind of holes you can use. Okay, you know that. Okay, that's good. Okay, next week. Okay. I call then. Okay, bye bye. Hello process 417 Hello processor, I have some data for you. Could you please store it for me? Of course, that's what I'm paid for. Thank you, see you later. See you, bye bye. So here is the data from the process 417. I will just put it to the cache because they usually keep asking for the same data again and again. Hello process 417 Hello processor. I have some more data for you. This is super important. Could you please store it for me? Of course. <laughs> so the process 417 gave me a bunch of new data and I don't have any more room in the cache. So I have to get some older data into the archive and put this newer data into the cache. Hello process 417. Hello processor. Looks like you have something interesting there. Yes, but that data belongs to another process, so you need a special permit to be able to read it. Really? Yeah. I have a suggestion for you. Okay. If I have a right to read it, read the first number. Okay. Then bring me my data from the memory slot matching with the number. Okay. Sounds like a fair deal, uh, but if you don't have the right to read it? Then do nothing. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye bye. Hi, memory management unit. Yeah? Could you check if process 417 can access that memory over there? It will take some time. It will take some time, blah blah blah. Don't you know who I am? I am an Intel processor and I am fast. I have no time to wait for you all the time. Anyways, I'll get ready for the case that the process actually does have the access rights. I don't like the sound of that. Couldn't you just wait for my result like most processors do? Oh please, I have been doing this literally for decades and it has been just fine. And besides, if I'm not allowed to, I will just not return the data, so I'm working exactly like I'm designed. Okay, so the first digit of the secret data is 5. I will go get the data from the memory slot 5. So here is the data. I will just wait if I can actually return this to the process or not. 
What's that? Ah, okay, so I cannot return it. So I will just put it to the cache because who knows, maybe the process will need this data soon. Hello, process 417. Hello, processor. Unfortunately, you didn't have the access right to read the data, so I couldn't bring you anything. Ah, oh, that's fine. Could you then bring my data from the memory slot one? Yeah, of course. Nice. I'll just measure time how long it takes. But no worries, I have no secrets. Hmm, okay. Well, anyways, I will get the data and I will bring it to you as soon as I can. Okay. Okay, see you later. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, data from slot 1. It's not in the cache, so I have to get it from the archive. Hello, process 417. So, here is your process data from the memory slot 1. Hello, processor. Interesting. It took 10 seconds. Just a moment, I will write down. Okay. Could you then bring me my data from the memory slot 2? Okay, sure thing. Okay, I'll just measure time. Okay, whatever you do. Uh, you can just wait here and uh, I will bring you the data. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Data from slot 2. It's also not in the cache, so I have to also get it from the archive. And slot 5 data, it's actually in the cache, so I will just return it from here. Hello, process 417. Hello, processor. So here is your precious data from the memory slot 5. Interesting. Oh, it was quite fast. Just 4 seconds from memory slot 5. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. You know, I know the secret. I am closer to money. I know the first number of the PIN code. It is number 5. <laughs> what? That must have been just some sort of like lucky guess. You, you cannot know anything like that for sure. <laughs> it wasn't lucky guess. It was the fastest case. What? The fastest case? That, that doesn't make any sense even. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> because I know that first number of the PIN code. I have to do the same thing three times more because I need three more numbers of the pin code. Then all the money is mine. <laughs> Hello. Now I know the pin code. It is here. Five, three, two, seven. All the cases was the fastest cases. And now I have the money. <laughs> I love my friend Kenny. Thanks Kenny. I owe you big time. <laughs>